Lisa, thank you so much. What a treat. That was <laughs> so beautiful. And look, what a momentous occasion. This production of De Rosencavalier marks your debut as the Marshalin. And is this a role that you've uh, always wanted to sing? And can you tell us a little bit more about her? Yeah, it's definitely a role I've wanted to sing since I came into the opera world. It was the first opera I ever saw was Rosencavalier. Wow. I didn't think I would sing it at the time, then it was too scary and too far away. But when I came into my fach, in a way, then I definitely knew or really, really wanted to do it. And I was happy when, when Peter offered it to me. <laughs> well, I have to say, after hearing that, I am so excited <laughs> to hear you sing the whole role. But the Marshallin is a famously deep and complex char character. I mean, what are the qualities that you found in her that you can really connect with as you've learned the role and got to know her better? Well, I think, I mean, in Rosen Cavalier, we talk a lot about time and it's all about time. And I think that's the most interesting part with this opera. It's, it's timeless. It's these, these questions that she's asking herself. Of course, I, I hope I can sing this role uh, for a long time and take age with me. But I think the questions, they appear in all ages and all, all times of our lives. Absolutely. This, when things are changing, we, we are with someone, we have to move away from it. And all those things, um, I feel I, I learn from her and I also feel I can bring something from me, from my life, even if I'm from, not... From you as you are yeah. now. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, look, I mean, it's only been a few years now and you're, you've already shot to stardom as one <laughs> of the greatest interpreters of Wagner and Strauss. But how does this role compare with other roles in your repertoire, like Ariadne in Ariadne of Naxos or Zieglinde, for example? Well, Marshalin is, is in, a, in a way a, a lighter vocally, um, a bit um, higher in the soprano. I mean, I think Marshalin has been sung by a huge range of, of sopranos, and sure. I think that's that's why um, why it's written in a, in a different way than Siglin and Ariadne, so maybe a bit more mezzo-y. Um, so that's the, the challenge number one. And then, of course, the Strauss text is this endless chat in first act with the, with Ox. Um, it's, yes. it's the best part and also the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Strauss can be very challenging like Indeed. that. But it, you, you've sort of touched upon it. There's a huge amount of variety in Rosen Cavalier, from romance to comedy to some very deeply serious themes. But you've mentioned time. I mean, is there anything else in this? What, what's the most important theme for you in this opera? I find Marjolaine to be very generous. I'm not sure it's the right English word, but she, is, she steps aside. She sort of zooms out on her life and she takes the right decisions. And I, I wish I could live my life that way, you know, that you could zoom out at the right time. It's always easy to say in later, I should have done that. I feel Marjolaine, she does it at, yeah. at the right time, well, I think. Well, it's a fantastic quality. We're looking forward to you enormously in this role and also to see it in cinemas on April 15th and yes. thank you for speaking with me. Thank you, thank you for coming here. <laughs>